Welcome to Chaos Cortex. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's time for another Wally update, and I didn't get as much done this week as I'd like to, but I still made some pretty good progress. And actually, I found quite a few things in the um, in my kind of design thought process that I'm going to need to change. But luckily, at this stage, um, those aren't going to be very hard to change. But I'll explain that more once we get in there. So let's go take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got here. Um, I deleted the other things that were sitting out because I did make some updates to them. Um, and the first big one being I made an update to his eyes. Um, I was pretty undecided on what I was gonna do with them, but I decided leaving it flat like that was not a good idea. So I um, indented it in and made it look kind of like camera lenses in there because that's ultimately what he has back there. And then maybe, um, as part of the post-processing, I'll put a lens over this. Um, not really sure. If I don't, it won't be that big of a deal because it'll be pretty much black in there anyway. But the lens could give it a nice uh, shine that uh, it, it would just make it look nicer, so I might do that. And then, as you can see, I duplicated his arms over and um, grouped the legs and uh, duplicated that as well. And then I added these mounting brackets on the bottom here. Um, and I actually struggled with these quite a bit just because the, the servo still has to sit there. Um, but I think it turned out all right. Um, it'll obviously look a lot better once he has the um, treads on his um, wheels down there. But for now, I think that actually looks pretty good. Um, I contemplated moving his arms back a bit so he doesn't look like he's a zombie walking, but um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about his arms, because, I mean, I could, here, I'll show you real quick. We'll just scoot them back. What do you think about that? Um, no, that's not bad. Maybe it looks a little more natural, I don't know. I think that's good. Let me know if you liked the other way better. So um, earlier I mentioned I came to a few realizations during the final um, modeling of this. Um, and the biggest one is probably that I'm going to have to screw it together. Because um, I was thinking real hard on how to um, make him mount together and you know some snap fit or pressure fit parts. And you know where I'll be printing in PLA, um, you know, snap fit parts, they, they can be a little, little flimsy um, just because PLA is so brittle, they can break really, really easily. And, um, you know, pressure fit works really well. And I've been doing that with quite a few of my designs lately um, just because it is so easy. But, um, you know, tolerances on everyone's printers are not the same. So what fi what fits for my printer um, and just slides together really nicely may not for someone else. And that's pretty frustrating. Um, and so screws will, one, give it stability, and two, um, it'll it'll make it less, in de or less dependent on the printer settings. Um, because as long as those holes can match up, then it'll be mountable um, and especially for these bottom pieces here I mean I'm just gonna put some screws um, along the edges out here that's why I left that extra lip and so that'll help that'll hold that on really really nicely and then we're just gonna have some wires run up through there um, to connect the motors to the Arduino and then I need to hollow out this body and split it up I think I can't remember if I mentioned this before but I think I'm going to split it into just faces here so they can each print um, with the details facing up and that should eliminate any overhang errors um, or issues that I have. And then um, I was just probably going to make those slide together, put little slots um, so they slide together easily because those will work out just fine. Um, and then there'll be a big empty space in the middle here that we can put all of our electronics. And I was actually going to make this front hatch here um, openable so we can get in and look at those electronics when we want to and not have to take them apart. So that'd be nice. Um, and then having that access will allow us to screw these things into it a lot easier. 
And then I still need to make all of the electronic mounts in there. And basically, I think I'm only going to have to mount um, two things. Uh, one being the um, the speaker, and I'm going to have to put some holes somewhere so the sound can get out. Um, I might just do that on the back. Uh, maybe maybe the bottom, actually. It might be better. I don't know. Um, maybe even the top. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But... Um, then the other thing is we're going to have to have a hole somewhere to allow him to charge and then I'm going to have to mount that um, that little PCB there um, pretty well so when you're plugging it in you don't have to put too much pressure on the um, on the uh, PCB itself and risk breaking it because those uh, micro USB ports aren't the sturdiest things to begin with but as of right now um, all the details are done so he is entirely ready to be made print ready, um, which is cool. So in next week's video, I am going to hopefully have him all broken up, have all of the mechanics necessary, uh, mechanisms necessary to make his head turn, and all of the, the mounts in there, and then um, I'll start uh, going full force and printing him. And then, um, while my wife paints him and everything, I will work on the electronics. And so speaking of electronics, um, let's go uh, get all of my electronics out and start gathering up what we'll need so we can make sure that we don't miss anything that needs to be mounted in here. Okay, so let's take another look at the electronics. Um, as before, we've got these uh, DC motors that are in a servo body, so they'll be easy to mount, and they have a pretty good amount of torque, so that'll help us out. Got your breadboard, Arduino. And then we're going to use the sub micro sized servo. There's a little bit smaller than these boxes, um, but this will be what will control the head. So I've still got to work in the mounting for this guy. And then as far as the sound, um, I'm going to be using this SD card breakout from Adafruit and then this speaker. I believe I got this from Adafruit as well. I got this a while ago though. And then of course the Bluetooth module. And then for the power, I've got this LiPo here. It is just a 3.7 volt LiPo. And then um, this is basically um, a little breakout board to allow it to charge. And then um, this will boost that 3.7 volts up to a 5 volt power supply. And now with powering the Arduino with um, 5 volts is kind of tricky because you can't just power it through the 5 volt pin. Well, I think you can, but that's pretty iffy. Um, and you risk blowing out your board. Um, otherwise, you could power it from the VIN, but or the VIN voltage in. Um, but that actually, you need um, I think at least 6.2, but they recommend like 7 at least because there is some voltage drop. And um, in order to get the 5 volts out of that, so you can't power it with 5 volts. But the um, the USB thing here actually powers it off 5 volts because USB power is 5 volts. So what I think I'm going to do is just take one of these cords here that normally plugs the Arduino into the computer and I'm just going to cut it and kind of hijack that power and ground. So I'll be able to plug it in like normal but it'll just go to a LiPo instead of to a computer. Then my next big hurdle is the um, speaker. I've actually never hooked up one of these and got it working. So, But they don't look like they're too difficult from some of the tutorials I've seen. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go online and find some um, Wally audio clips and then I will just turn them into a small audio format, put it on the SD card and then yeah, use the Arduino to pull that off and play it through the speaker. And then after that all these motors are pretty straightforward. Um, there's nothing crazy there, especially these two will be really easy. They're just on or off. So then after that, really the only thing left is this Bluetooth. Um, and I'm going to be trying to make an app for my Android phone um, in order to control that. But um, I haven't had a lot of luck with that because the, the documentation on these Bluetooth devices for um, like Android coding stuff is just horrible. But um, I, I have a few things I want to try. So we'll see if I can get that working, but I'm basically going to make them take really, really simple commands so that um, if you want to use 
just um, an app on your phone that deals with Bluetooth devices, you can send really simple commands and still control him. Because I know that a lot of people out there that will want to build this have iPhones, and I don't have the um, the equipment to build iPhone apps. I don't have any Mac, a Mac computer or anything like that. So, so I'm trying to make it fairly flexible. And if I cannot get that app running, I will just make it run with those uh, the the apps. Um, I have a video dealing with Bluetooth and Arduino. If you want to see what app I was using, you can check out the little eye over here. Um, it'll take you there. All right, guys, there you have it. That's this week's progress. And I think I'm actually going to start making these um, big project update videos every other week, um, still on Friday. And that's just to make them a little more interesting. Because right now, um, you know, each week I do make a decent amount of progress, but there's not a lot to show for it a lot of the times. And so uh, maybe going every other week will make these videos a little more interesting and then it'll free up that extra week um, to do other videos that I've been wanting to do and not completely confine myself to that schedule of just the uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos I have. All right guys, well thanks for joining me. If you're wondering what to watch next, check the little eye up in the corner and then make sure you like and subscribe if you have not already. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.